Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use the X path in Cypress. So let's begin. Initially, Cypress only supported the CS6 selector, but now they officially supporting the X path selector as well. So in order to use the X path in the Cypress, you need to go to the browser here and search for Cypress X path plugin and most probably most of the people right now are using this cypress xpath npm so this package is not an official package for using the xpath and if you click on this one you will see that this package has been depreciated so now what should we do how we can use the xpath in the cypress so for that go here and search for cypress plugin and we need to go to this official website click on this one and here you will find the different plugins here some are community based and some are official now search for xpath here and you will see this is cypress-xpath and this is the official one now click on this one and this is the official github account for this plugin go down here and they says that this repo has been depreciated and moved to this one. So we need to click on this one. And now they have explained how should we install it with NPM, how it will be installed with John. And once it will be installed, we need to add this line in our support file. Once we perform these steps, then we can use the XPath. And this is how we can use the XPath in the Cypress. Now let's perform these steps, copy this one from here and go to the Visual Studio code here and in terminal you need to provide this path here and uh, it paste it and press enter and it will install very immediately just a couple of seconds and it's done and it's already done. Now if I go to package.json here you will find that cypress xpath 2.03 dependency has been added and what else we need to add one line in our support so where that particular line needs to be added so this particular line needs to be added in this index.js click on this one go here and copy this one from here now go back here, paste this one and save. That's done. Now we need to check either cy.xpath is now working or not. So in our previous tutorial, we learned to automate the login functionality. Now let me open that same script here and let me just type cy.xpath. So now you can see that we can have this xpath here. In order to see either this XPath really works or not, so we will be changing some script here instead of using cy.get which we did in terms of the CSS selector. But now we will execute the same script with cy.xpath. So we need to provide the XPath for these particular fields and button. And let me open this website which is orange HRM demo website. And in our previous script, we learned to automate this, the login page of this one. So we need to provide the username, we need to provide the password, and then we need to click on this login button. And I am already using a very, very good extension called Sector Sub. So I will be getting the expert from there. So just right click on this one, go to inspect, and click on Sector Sub, and you will see we have a unique relative xpath copy from here go back to the visual studio code here let place this xpath here then in the very same way dot type and we need to provide the username in a similar way cy dot xpath and here in the xpath we need to provide the xpath of the password field Let's go here, click here, and again, we'll find this relative xpath, 
which is unique click on this one and go back here and provide this x path here now again type and what we need to type here is basically the password which is admin123 and the tenth thing which we need to do is uh, basically clicking on the login button in the same way cy.xpath and we need to provide the xpath for this button and once we will do we need to click on this button just like we did with the css selector now um, go back here and in the same way let's find out the xpath for the button so this is the unique right of xpath for the button here copy this one go back here and provide this one and let's save this one i'm committing this above lines so that we can execute with the x path and see either it works or not let me save the script now uh, let's open the test runner npx cypress open so it will open the test runner and from the test runner we will execute this script so it will take some time to open the test runner we need to wait a bit for this one but this is the idea behind uh, using the x path in the cypress so just wait for some time on this one and see our test runner is now up and running and now we just need to run this script so let me click on this one and let's see if our script is working fine or not and it's actually using xpath or not so it will open this orange hrm website here and once it will be opened it will go and provide the username password and it should log in into the application and yes it's done and if you go here and you can see that for the locators it uses the xpath here so that's how we can use the xpath with the cypress thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial